Autodesk Screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we will be looking at the column command in Revit. Here I am in Revit in an architectural default project. Architecture tab of the ribbon, build panel, we have the column command. If you hit the little black arrow next to it, you'll see that we have structural column and architectural. If I take a look at the uh, architectural column, they are slightly different than that of structural columns. What I mean by this is, if I have a wall, and let's zoom in, and I place an architectural column, for example, 24 by 24 rectangular, as I place it, the materials of the wall will wrap around that column. If I place a structural column, however, such as a Y flange, you'll notice it has no bearing on that wall. When we take a look at the architectural column command, in the type selector you have a few to work with. If you don't have what you need, you can always click load family, go to the columns subfolder, and pick a family that you want to work with. It will get loaded, it will become the current one, and you pick the size that you need. And again, in the options toolbar, specify the height or the depth. If you're working with a structural column, which you can access here, or go to the structure tab of the ribbon and click column, you'll see you have just a few to work with. And if you don't have what you need, again, you can click load family, but this time, go to structural columns, go by material, and pick what you need. So for example, this one. It will get loaded. You pick the size that you need, and then you can place it. The behavior of how columns get placed from an architectural column versus a structural column is slightly different. When we look at the architectural column, we can just place it wherever we want. If you look at the structural column, you can do the same thing, but it has additional features. For example, if I have a column grid, and I go to place my structural column, I can place them freeform, I can place them at the intersections individually, I can place them at the grid lines by doing a crossing symbol and hitting enter. And then I can hit finish. And I can also do slanted columns as well. Lastly, with structural columns, you can actually place them at architectural columns. And what that means is that maybe you're using a wide flange column and you need to actually place it in the architectural column. like so. And it embeds itself inside that column. So very quickly, that was a very uh, short screencast on what is an architectural column and a structural column and how to place them. Thanks again for watching my screencast and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.